Hey guys, today we're going to explore blend modes in Affinity software. I'm going to use Affinity Photo, but it is very similar in Designer and Publisher. If you like to see more Affinity tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. And let's get started. Here I am, I got document with this picture, but I got also layers above. I got two rectangles with dark and light color and a picture. By default we got normal blending mode with 100% opacity. If we play with the opacity slider you will notice that the picture is fading away, we can see through it until it's totally disappeared at 0%. It's exactly the same for vector shapes. But what we, if we change this normal blend mode to something else? Let's open this long drop down menu. At the very top here we got the first group. This first group is responsible for making colors darker. So the layer at the top will try to blend with the layer below and make it darker. The multiply is the most popular mode in this group. As you can see, it works perfectly with the dark color. But if I try to use multiply on the light color, that's not interesting result at all. So light color is not really a good one to be multiplied to the layer below. All right. But if I move to next section, it's all about making the layer below brighter. So if I use screen, it's so, so bright that I cannot see the original layer below. Now I need to reduce the opacity to see through it. So this color, it's all right. How about dark color? As you can see, not much result. Dark color cannot make the layer below brighter much. And here we got a picture, so this is a mix of both dark and bright colors, so we got interesting results. So the first group making darker, second group making the layer below lighter, and the third group is kind of mixed between those two. So we somehow try to make it darker and brighter at the same time, bumping up this contrast. Take a look, a very popular blending mode in this third group is called Overlay. And it's work really good with a little bit darker colors, I think. It will work also well on bright colors and it's kind of the one that I overuse all the time. So below this group, there's another one with geometric operation, Boolean operations. So this is a very typical the, as, like mathematic formula happens between colors here and we got some four different results very similar to what you may remember from like boolean geometric operations but between colors. All right, this is our group number 4 and as you can see we got a little bit different result with different modes and also different colors as a base. Next thing is a color blend mode. So they are related to colors or saturation. So if you set up, let's say, blend mode to color, you will only pass by color. You will not change contrast or anything like that. Take a look. Now the layer below, it's getting only the color from this picture, nothing else. No texture, no contrast, just a color. Same for those simple rectangles. So some people use this blend mode to recolor pictures. This way you can give a monochromatic look to a picture below using color blend mode. All right, so this is the color group. We got several options here and they will affect colors mostly. And Everything that else, everything that left, I call them special blend modes. Everything we use so far is typical for multiple programs, even from different companies, CorelDRAW, Adobe Photoshop, other soft software from Affinity, but this section below, it's something quite unique. It may not appear in other software. Other software may have different special modes here so it's best if you just explore them yourself because it's hard to put them into one group and the very last mode on the blend mode list is erase 
Something I showed before, the erase mode simply kind of make a hole in the layer below. So, keep in mind there are so many blend modes and the best way to simply explore them and learn them is to open the program, draw a simple color, or rectangle or whatever shape you like and then try to blend this color using different blending modes. Keep in mind, bright and dark color will blend differently. From the top, we got blending modes that are responsible for darkening the image, then brightening the image, then everything in between. After that, we got Boolean operations and colors and special blending modes. So I encourage you now to simply go to your Affinity software straight after this tutorial and explore some blending modes. The one I recommend, if you want to make a blend dark, use Multiply. Opposite, use Screen. If you want something in between, Overlay is a great selection. I also like to use Color Blend Mode if I want to pass only color, not a texture or contrast. Those are like my top four blend modes that I use all the time. Alright guys, check out my other tutorials about Affinity Photo and Designer on my little YouTube channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye!